Welcome back, Kony is here. In this video, I'm showing slow motion clips of pin art toys. They consist of a grid with hundreds of movable pins. The pins allow you to create an impression of a 3D object. For example, this light bulb. The pin art toy was invented by a man named Ward Fleming and patented in 1987. Usually when I've seen these in the store, they have an obscene hand gesture impressed into them. For example, I can't really show that, but you get the idea. <laughs> the slow motion video clips were taken with a Krontek Kronos HD 2.1 high speed camera. I've got a Sigma lens that they recommend with it. This is the 32 gigabyte model. The clips were recorded at 1,000 frames per second and 2,142 frames per second. Those are the standard frame rates for full high def and regular high def. There are views of the pins dropping from the front and the top and then also the pins being reset. Here's the first clip, a view from the front at 1,000 frames per second. Here it is at 2142 frames per second. For comparison, here it is in real time at 60 frames per second. Here's the view from the top at 1000 frames per second. and again at 2142 frames per second. And again, for reference, real time at 60 frames per second. Here's how resetting the pins looks at 1000 frames per second. And at 2142 frames per second. and in real time. Here are a series of alternate clips for your enjoyment. Here's a blooper clip of me dropping the handle while setting up a shot. After making all the clips, I decided to check online and I found a lot of pin art toys available for sale. I found this set for 20 bucks on Amazon. And I found this one as well which is just like mine except clear. 
and I'm opening these for the first time. So in this box we have a clear pin art toy. It's the three by five size. A nice little piece of paper to protect the front glass, which is nice. And there it is. A different rainbow pattern than my original. Set that somewhere where it could be seen easily. And then it also comes with this larger five point five by seven size. And this one's just enormous. Also has a piece of protective paper in here. Let's see if I can get that out. And there we have a gigantic pin art toy. Some of the pins are a little reluctant, but I think they'll get better. Put that somewhere. So I'd need a pretty big bracket to do the same with that one. The other thing I found then was this version, which is the same as my original which is right here. So the same color pattern. Uh, just with clear glass instead of black. Some of the pins stick a little bit. I think they will relax with a little bit of time. The toy was held in place with a custom designed 3D printed bracket. This one right here. Audio was recorded with a USB mic and down sampled and synced to the video clips. Thank you so much for watching my pin art toy video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Usually when I've seen these in the store, they have an obscene hand gesture impressed into them. For example, I can't really show that.